Lindsay, thank you. Our local hospitals are overwhelmed by the Delta variant driven surge of the pandemic. Right now, 85% of ICU beds filled throughout the state of Missouri. 67% of ICU beds in Kansas are filled, and one of the hospitals struggling to keep up with the influx of patients includes St. Luke's. In a story you'll only see here on KSHB 41 News this morning, reporter Dan Cohen introduces us to one of their patients who survived COVID-19. Michael Jones is a veteran of the U.S. Army Reserves. I joined in uh, 2012, January of 2012. I did six years to January of 2018. Living in Overland Park, Michael's been enjoying the summer. I'm 28, I'm younger, I'm healthy. I have no pre-existing conditions. A summer that included fun weekend plans earlier this month. It was just a Saturday night. It was just me and my friends. We were just having a few drinks. Um, go to a little bar club and uh, we went to a couple of different spots. And then um, I think that's definitely the night I got it. Michael wasn't vaccinated before he got sick and his symptoms took a turn within days. The fever got worse and um, I think that's really what dictated the whole entire downfall. His fever wouldn't go below 100 degrees and then his mother Patricia says he got worse. I looked down and his lips were blue. I brought him up to the hospital here as fast as I could because I knew something wasn't right. Michael was admitted to St. Luke's where they immediately took images of his lungs. Michael's CT scan shows us typical significant COVID pneumonia. Pulmonologist Dr. Andrew Schlachter walked us through Michael's scans. If there's any area of white that you see, all of this is abnormal. Our lungs should look kind of like this area. This is a previously healthy 28 year old former member of the military, and his lungs are completely abnormal. Completely abnormal. And if this is what can happen to young, 28 healthy lungs, imagine unhealthy 65-year-old lungs when they get this disease. Michael's ICU stay lasted four days. I was pretty scared when I got on the oxygen. It was a scary situation for everyone. I was leaving the hospital and I was leaving my son who was so sick in somebody else's hand and I did not know when I woke up the next day if he would still be around. Michael recently went home but he's still recovering and unable to work. I try to walk as much as I can around the house because like I said my lungs still aren't 100 percent. Dr. Schlachter says Michael is still lucky. He's no longer on oxygen and there are too many young patients his age and in his health who we are not giving the same message to their families. Families whose loved ones are overwhelming Dr. Schlachter and his St. Luke's colleagues. I saw firsthand the scale and toll of the Delta variant in this ICU, hosting some of the more than 180 COVID-19 positive patients across the St. Luke's health system. COVID is not just here, but it is overwhelmingly here. We're getting tired. We're getting overrun and we don't need to have these numbers. As the hospital confronts the current surge, Michael confronts what could have been. Was there any regret there? There was, 100%. I was just thinking if I would have just listened to my mom and got the vaccine that I wouldn't be in this bed probably. As he faces what's next, Patricia and Michael are changing minds and hope to change more. My sister has had six friends since then get the vaccine. My boyfriend asked me to please sign him up for the vaccine because he was scared seeing what he's seen my son going through. I'll take it vaccinated for sure. We want to thank Michael and Patricia for sharing their personal stories, and we want to wish Michael well as he continues his recovery. Dr. Schlachter tells me he and his team here at St. Luke's continue to log long hours, and Taylor and Lindsay, they're seeing patients that are Michael's age, that were healthy, that need all of the care that the medical team can provide, but some of these patients aren't winning that fight. You know, we talk about numbers a lot, but it's so rare that we get to see the person, 28, yes. healthy, that this has happened that's to. That's not a number. That's a face. That's a person. That's a, that's a face. Uh, okay, so let's talk about those numbers, though, because those statistics are a little startling to hear, aren't they? Yeah, an overwhelming majority of the patients in the St. Luke's health system are unvaccinated. That's according to the hospital. And just to tell you how fluid the situation is, Taylor Lindsay, as we were putting this story together just yesterday, the number jumped from more than 170 to more than 180. And they had a peak in the winter at one point of more than 200 COVID positive patients across all of their hospitals in the St. Luke's health system. So again, the Delta variant continues to overwhelm this hospital. 
hospital. And one additional note, the interview that we did with Dr. Schlachter, that was in a conference room right, side, right outside of one of those ICUs. And he says, this is the room where we give families bad news. Mm. It really hits home just being there and seeing patients in these rooms. Goodness. Overrun, he said in that interview. We are overrun. Dan Cohen reporting live for us this morning. Dan, thank you very much.